On the penultimate day of the 28th Southeast Asian Games, the pressure was high on teams. For some, there was still one more day to consolidate and improve their leaderboard position. For others, it was down to the final podium deciding medal race. First on the racetrack completing another two races were the 420 and 49 RFX classes. Top billing went to Singapore's Griselda Ung and Sara Tan in the 49er FX, who again outpaced the fleet and secured their gold medal ahead of tomorrow's medal race. Domination 2 for Malaysia's Mohamed Uzair Amin Mod Yusuf and Nakib Ayman in the 420 youth men's class. Two more race wins secured their gold. The battle for gold continues to the medal race in the 420 youth women's, with Singapore, Malaysia and Thailand all in the frame. With podium gold decided in the 420 youth men's and 49er FX, it was a different story for those competing in today's medal races. A roller coaster of a day saw position changes throughout the races and medal positions decided right on the finish line. This medal race is important for us, uh, so we have to do less mistakes so we can uh, still get the goal. Malaysia's team did exactly what they planned, winning the medal race to claim gold. Thailand was second and Singapore third. In the men's fleet, Singapore's Choi and Yil controlled the fleet to win the medal race and easily seal gold. The Philippines took home silver and Thailand bronze. In the optimist class, points were much closer and podium places swapped on each leg of the race. In the boys' fleet, the medal race win gave gold to Malaysia's Mohamed Fauzi Kaman Shah silver to Thailand and bronze to Singapore. In the girls, Singapore's Jodi Juan Yi Lai finished the race in second to claim gold. Silver to Thailand and bronze went to Malaysia. Especially the finishing line, I was very, very nervous because we were neck to neck to finish and the person who won that race will be the one winning overall. It's a huge honour for my country because I'm representing Singapore and um, this is held in Singapore and it's actually 50. So um, I feel very honoured and I'm very, very happy that I'm able to represent Singapore and help Singapore get a gold medal. Don't miss the final day of the 28th Sea Games as the action shifts to the heart of Marina Bay for some stadium-style racing.